in 2016 and compare with their ministers who are running Ghana today, pound for pound, our ministers were far better than any of them. That's the former president. And one of the men that he talks about, and the, the, the couple of ministers who say we're far, far better. He's actually with us in the studio, Neil and mm -hmm. But let me start with you, Dennis Miracles. Oh, why? Do you have the men? Oh, no, why are you starting? You still <laughs> no, let him no, speak to no. them. Uh, it is <laughs> the former president who has made this statement. I, I, so I was I, expecting you to he would, he would, the, no, his violence uh, video. Hey. Let, me, let, me address, let me address this. I, I, I think that on a brief on this, because we have the IMF as well. Yes. Like I said, mm -hmm. the NDC, they are not learning. And they, they think that their electoral fortunes or the success of the, the, the elections in 2024 is simply automatically based on the difficulties that the Ghanaian economy will face. And so for them, they are failing to even do any thinking and, and, and tell the people of Ghana the reason why they should vote for them. So you listen to the comments in the video by the former president and really you're asking yourself okay after all is said and done after all the the comedy you know after all the yeah the trivialities what is the promise to the people and the education the that you are saying the station boys haven't been able to do what is it that you think they haven't been able to do and what are you telling the people you are going to do it and what how are you going to do it and the health that the station boys haven't been able to handle, according to you, how are you going to handle it? You came, and even hospitals that you had inherited from 2008, you couldn't even complete. The health insurance scheme, you collapsed it. <laughs> and the education, within the eight years or so that you spent in government, every year you were leaving 135,000 of the citizens on the street because, one, a lot of them couldn't afford. Two, we didn't have enough infrastructure to hold them, so we had artificial cutoff points. How are you assuring the people and what are you pointing to the people that when you come you'll be able to 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 do to deliver you came and the entire period that you you spent in your in your second term as a government this country was planned into darkness industry shut down media houses including tv3 and so many other industries had to lay off workers because operational cost was high how are you assuring the people that when you come the stable electricity that we are enjoying today you are not going to you know, send us back into the dark days. For me, I think that what the former president should understand is that Ghanaians are discerning. Ghanaians are not going to vote for you simply because you, you are telling them that the, the MPP government has not been able to deliver on all their promises. In our West form, we are better than the NDC. You are in better our West, than your, the in NDC our West in, form, in your West form. In our West form, sector by sector, in our West form. Today, as we speak, as today, as we speak, even not for anything at all, we have over 2.5 million Ghanaians who have either completed or are going through secondary education at no cost, by the cost of the, of the, of the people, of the, of the state. Something but for, 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 for which a lot of, Ghanaian, of these Ghanaians will remain on the streets. Today, as we speak, COVID showed us clearly how weak our health infrastructure has been in spite of all the noise wow. they made, wow. in spite of all the noise they made that they had provided so much infrastructure in health. It came to the fore that indeed we had over 88 districts in this country who did not have the health infrastructure to be able to hold any health emergency. I was an MC every just every year. They don't have a they, they didn't have a district hospital just yet, which is some few minutes away from Accra. And yet there were thousands that they, they had provided so much health infrastructure and, and, and so no matter what happens, you know they are the best. But it is obvious that they, they it was just wishy washy, they were just on paper. Today, the government of the country had to look for money to provide almost about 111 health infrastructure across the country to ensure that the basic health, the basic health infrastructure, which is a district hospital for every district, so that within that jurisdiction, they know that when they have an, a health emergency, they can be catered for. That is being provided by, by this government. Today, today, as we speak, if you go to Tema, you have these industries, in spite of all the global economic challenges, operating. You have people who are going about their, 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 daily, their daily lives without losing their jobs in spite of the economic, economic challenges. The thing about a government is that there, there is no theory that says there will be an absence of challenges and difficulties. But the true test of a government is how you confront the challenges when they come up. Every country across the globe, every country across the globe, 
is going through economic turmoil, including first, first, first world countries. The Americas, the UKs, the Germanys, mm -hmm. every country is going to. The Germany is seeing inflation that they've never seen before. UK is seeing a 40 year old inflation. The American currency in the, is under stress. Today, America is seeing a 40 year old uh, uh, inflation, something they've never experienced. Turkey mm -hmm. is, is having inflation in less of about 80%. Our trading countries, our trading partners, where we import from, they rely on Russia and Ukraine for their basic. Uh, 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 input to be able to produce for us to buy from. Today, they are struggling with supply chain issues, for which reason our purchasing or our trade with them has become so expensive and it's impacting on, on the lives of our people. In spite of all of that, in spite of all of that, one of the things that a Ghanaian person who is on the street or who is in their homes is, is, is very comfortable with and happy with is that there's a government that is working with them to be able to find a solution. Six, seven years ago, when this country encountered a similar challenge under him, former President Mahama. He told us, he gave us so many uh, very, very disrespectful comments. Under, under the, the energy crisis, he told us that we should stop even charging our phones. At some point, he told us that no matter what we say, he's a dead goat and there's nothing we can do to him. At some point, he told us that, he told some people, some uh, uh, unemployed graduates to, 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 to go to hell. And so many other He told things. the unemployed graduates yes, to yes, go to Yes, hell. yes, 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 to Where? go to hell. And, and, and well, so no, many, no. oh, let me. No, he, he, you know, he's, did he say? Oh, I said that if, if somebody that says you are too, it means that he rubbed them, he, he, he threw he them off. He, he, did he say? He that threw them off. Yes, yes. No. When somebody says he, you, are, you should they, go to hell, it means they, that you were snubbed. That is what it means. <laughs> uh, but when somebody says you, you should go to hell, what does it mean? It means you, that you, you are saying he can I can I you, can you I can I continue? Hell. You are distorting my thoughts. No, I just wanted to let. Uh, yes, he did. He did make statements. And not expect that out. He did. Questions. He did. He snubbed them. He told them to go to hell. He snubbed them and ignored them. For which mm. reason, they went on to even form an employed graduate association. When we mm. came to power, the mm. first thing that confronted us as a government was a huge number of graduates who have completed school and had no, nothing to do. We had to quickly introduce a stopgap arrangement through the NAPCO to put up almost about 100,000 of these people into active. Uh, uh, productive activities, you know, on daily basis, out of which almost about 40,000 had been mainstreamed. So how about you know, the so, 60,000? Where are they? But at least 40,000 that we inherited had been mainstreamed. No, no, no. But the 60,000, which is the larger number, where are they? It doesn't matter. The it, point it, it does matter. Where, where so, are the number so, so, 60,000 So that people? is the point I was making, that you see, government confronts the challenges and you put in place measures to deal with it. You cannot have everything done at the go. So you had 100,000, you've taken off 40,000. That is progress. So you had the 100,000. It is better than having 100,000 and saying, I ignore you. Go and weed the roadside. Go and cut grass. So the 60,000 that's left, have you paid the arrears, which in, it, the, it's about nine months or so, the last time I checked, the NAPCO trainees allowances, the arrears of nine months, have you paid that? I cannot confirm that, but even if they have arrears, the good thing is that they have evidence of indebtedness to them by a government. It is better than they being home in the past when they had no hope or nobody owed them. That is, I'm, that is fact. I'm, 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 in I'm, economics... So I'm asking you a specific question. No, but that's that, what I'm saying. I cannot so, confirm what you are saying because, because I don't you made it. reference yeah, but to I that can't as one of the whether, progress and the interventions you I have made. I cannot confirm... I cannot mm. confirm whether some people who are owed some arrears have been paid or not. But the point is that... The point I'm making with that reference is that 100,000 of unemployed graduates that we came to meet had been put into a stopgap arrangement, out of which over 40,000 today had been mainstreamed and are productive. These 40,000 had been home for eight years. That is the import of my, my argument. So, so what's the plan for the 60,000? Uh, oh, there are several interventions that are ongoing. Even as at now, as we speak, almost about 6,000 or 7,000 are being recruited into the Ghana Health Service. Last week, close to about two or 3,000 or so are being recruited into the Ghana Education Service. They, it's, it's, it's all over. As what? They, Teachers nurses and nurses, so yes, teachers and nurses. Teachers and nurses, yes, as we speak. Ghana Health Service is recruiting. Ghana Education Service has been issuing out. They, they are done with their recruitment process, and they are issuing out um, um, appointment letters. Yesterday, you had recruits coming out of the National Fire Service, uh, uh, passing out from the National Fire Service and all of that. The fact of the matter is, Alfred, it doesn't matter how you attempt to twist or turn So the things. last time I checked, it was the 2019 graduates, yeah. nurses, yeah. who were being recruited yes. 2019 perfect so we as have wait upcoming there's mm. 2020 graduates mm -hmm. 2021 graduates 2022 mm. graduates who are still at home mm. what's the plan for them awesome so the point is that as we speak 
there are, in spite of all the challenges, there are over 7,000 health professionals that are being recruited in spite of the challenges. Hitherto, in the past, there was a complete freeze on them. As we speak, teachers, teachers, in spite of all the challenges, are being recruited. Hitherto, in the past, there was a complete freeze on them. Just Yesterday, that. you had fire yeah. service personnel uh, 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 yeah. passing out from, from the fire training. Hitherto, in the past, there was a freeze on them. So, I am only, see, there's a comparative analysis there because we are speaking directly to uh, 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 former President Mahama, he is saying that his ministers and his government mm -hmm. was better than this government. So allow me to do the comparison. I am saying that that is false and that that is just a figment of his imagination and that even in our worst form, as you are putting it now, which I agree with you, that we are actually in our worst form because the challenges with the economy, so no doubt about that, in that worst form, we are putting in interventions that is going to directly affect positively the impact, positively the lives of Ghanaians than we experience under his government. Would you be able to, and you, because you made earlier reference to interventions in health, and you mentioned Agenda 111, the mm. 88 district hospitals, mm. would you be able to complete them before end of 2024? At, at this point, I, I don't have the 111 projects in front of me to be able to tell whether we'll be able to complete or not. But the point is that the government identified because you made reference you see you, you, you talked by, uh, about the interventions mm -hmm. and that have been put in place mm -hmm. so it is just fair for the Ghanaian people to know mm -hmm. for instance this rate of progress of executing the mm -hmm. said promises that mm -hmm. you are making reference to mm -hmm. So, so, that's so, the so, that I'm so, so, so I, there are 111 health infrastructure facilities that are needed the government initiates the process in 2020 and goes into action in, in implementation in 2022. And then if the government is unable to complete in 2024, it means that what? It means that those projects are not done. When we came to, when we came to office, the NDC had started projects like the University of Ghana Medical Center, the, the other projects, and we've continued. The key thing here is that the, he, former President Mahama speaking, told all of us that he had fixed our, our health infrastructure and that he had provided unprecedented infrastructure. I am telling you that when we came to office, it was found to be false that we identified 88 districts with our hospitals, which we have initiated uh, processes to provide for them. And then as we speak today, these projects are ongoing. So if you ask me whether we can uh, complete or the not, projects how is it connected? Ongoing. Of course, how is it connected to what I am saying? I'm Neil can I wrap up? You let me wrap up. You have, you've had <laughs> 12 minutes. <laughs> so, and, and I ask questions. That's so why I ask, I've seen that. I'm giving you the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to okay. you, know, you know, you know, you know let's, let's, no, 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 no. It makes interesting. I have asked people almost about two years ago to sit down and critically do analysis of the appointees of John Dramani Mahama and the appointees and performance of uh, Nanako Fuado. I'm very confident in my mind that one on one, from the presidency to even the ordinary aide in the office of the president, we, we were, were far, 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 mm -hmm. far better and streets ahead of a Miracle and his uh, gang. The, the truth of the matter is not only in words, as Yohama has said, every Ghanaian can do the analysis and come to the conclusion. Let me take first from the presidency. There is no nothing that any Ghana will say about the fact that John Mahama as a president was better than Nana Kufuado in terms of grasp of the issues and in terms of his own, let me say, a, a disposition, um, appearance, and also his response to issues that are addressed to him. Let me be frank with you. One on one, you can take all the issues that happen under John Dramani Mahama, both positive and negatives, and examine his reaction to them. How did John Mahama react when the issue of bus branding came up? He took action. Somebody lost his job. Mm -hmm. Somebody lost their job. Mm -hmm. Refunds were made. NYEP. Somebody is in jail today. What has Anan Kufa do done about all these cases of corruption that have reported him? In fact, he has even promoted people. NYEP. And he has cleared people. You understand? Under Anan Kufa do and Jomama, basic analysis on the issue of a corruption. Under John Dramani Mahama, 
when it came to health, Jomama's, uh, uh, let me say, a contribution to the health infrastructure of Ghana is legendary. In fact, it's Ghanaians, legendary. yes. <laughs> Look, which government in this country has contributed more infrastructure and health than Jomama's government? Tell me. G give me detail. I give you detail. At least, you know, Jomama, con we constructed 55 Rich. district hospitals. 55 district hospitals. We constructed 2,800 something, 845 Chips. chips compounds across the country. In fact, ministers under Jomama were contributing 10% of their salaries for the construction of chip compounds across the country. Have you talked? He, he, Marcus himself mentioned the University of Ghana Medical Hospital, Maritime Hospital, Bank Hospital, Accra Medical Center, all these contributions either through straight government funding or through PPP. What did those things do? The Ganghist Hospital, for example, was what saved this country and the government from the ravages of COVID. It was Jomama's infrastructure. That saved the government from the ravages of COVID. What have they done? Even the once they came to meet La General Hospital, haven't they broken it down? And what have they done about it in three years? So the number of chip compounds is 2,860. Yes. I think that's just to correct that. 2,860. Which, which, which district receive 55 hospitals? No, no, no. You, you, so, I so, You talk about no, no. Miracle, don't take my time. You talk about one. You talk about You talk about one You talk about one one one. You talk about one one one. But have you even built one? No, no. But let's listen. Have you even built one? I said it's ongoing. But mention the 55. Your own minister. It's okay. It's okay. It's not true. We built zero. We built zero. It's not true. We built zero. Yeah, that's the fact. I said we built zero. We built zero. But there's nothing like that. When you had the problem of COVID. The Ganyis Hospital, that saved you. Who built it? You did not build 55 this I said, who built it? We built, we built, I said, we built zero. Who saved you? The Ganyis awesome. Hospital. Awesome. You didn't build 55. Bekwai. That's the most important thing. Bekwai Hospital. A Betifi Hospital. Do, they are not in existence. We don't talk about things that are mirage. We talk about things that are real. Sini, I'm just correcting. Let, let, no, I'm no. saying that you your own minister came hospitals. to parliament to tell us that he is not even sure that you may be able to complete even 20% of the Agenda 111 by 2024. But at least you left them. Yet you are here mentioning Let me take you, you to issue you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. this erroneous impression you put create about Dumso. Tell me what the Nana Kufuado's government have added to our power generation in this country. We are buying gas. We have the money to buy the gas to power the generation. What have you done? That's what we've done. That's what have you done? Difference. We, we have built the, the gas infrastructure. We, the money. we build the okay. gas infrastructure. If you buy a car, you don't have fuel. Atwabo gas infrastructure is what is sustaining this country today. If you have a car, you don't have fuel. What is the point? Atwabo is what is sustaining gas, the, the okay. Ghana energy today. You have not added anything to it. You are the ones who are complaining even about excess capacity. So if we built and we have excess, what have you contributed to some do so? Your own Baumia stood on a platform and said that we need not congratulate your mama for having solved Dunzo. So did you solve Dunzo? Two, let me go. You said education. What have you done in education? We are giving people free education. Free education. Mm. Look, education is not just about the middle level. <laughs> the most important thing for me, as far as development in education is concerned, is the basic. <laughs> we built over 2,800 chips. Uh, Schools under trees, eliminated schools under trees you across the country. You eliminated schools under trees. Yes. Can you imagine. No. Uh, Two thousand eight hundred so schools you, you under trees. That, that we're still have, we still have schools under trees. So yes, you eliminated. I said build schools were eliminated. Schools under trees were eliminated. So, so if you say uh, eliminated, not in total. But what, what, I'm giving you a figure. I said two thousand eight hundred. You saying you two, did it entirely? Two thousand eight hundred. Schools and at least were eliminated. Ah, were eliminated. Okay. Are, that is what I want you to understand. Okay, hold, on, hold on. Three. Hold on. Three. Even in the secondary education, in the secondary education, we built E blocks. Even if we didn't complete at all, the E blocks we built are the ones who saved your irrational approach to the provision of free SHS. How, did that save it? How many of them are in? Look, How did that at the tertiary level, through the GET Fund unprecedented infrastructure ask the mpp since they came to power what infrastructure development have they done in any tertiary institution ask them apart from continuing and finishing the ones that were started under john dramani mahama they they virtually amortized the get fund 
they were chopping the money, and so Get Fund is collapsed. It's in comatose. You can't do anything with Get Fund anymore. So we systematically look at basic, secondary, and tertiary institution. We turned our training, uh, what, uh, training college of universities of uh, college of education. We turned our polytechnics into technical universities, improve infrastructure, develop manpower, and to make sure that we sustain education. What have they done? Are they not the ones today who are converting toilets into dormitories in schools? In their, in, in, in their situation, they call they have improved, uh, providing free SHS. I will not have a traffic light in the country. Today, I'm happy you asked him about the teacher training colleges. Do you, does he know what is happening with the teacher training colleges? You talk about... <laughs> it, it's funny. Miracles. Do you know something? Let me even give you one basic thing. You guys are in local government. Water. Water, one of the basic necessities of life. The NDC, Jomama government, picked it from 55% to 78.2%. Up to today, ask them, where have they taken it to? Countless number of boreholes that were provided across the country. So when we're talking about development, infrastructure development, you, you can never, never compare Nana Kufado's government to the achievements of the John, Mahama, John Mills, John Mahama government. And let me tell you, one-on-one, -on -one, your finance minister, who went to Harvard and Yale, is the one who has taken this, gun, this country to where we are today. After all the, brag, the, the, the braggings. After all your braggings. Your health minister is not the one who said, <laughs> I don't want to even go there. I, I want to cut it. He's my good friend. I wouldn't want to go in. But... <laughs> Take one on one every ministry and look at the achievements of the ministers and the ministries under the two regimes and do your comparisons and find out whether, in, in fact, the station boy the mama even used is to even to, to, to uh, 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 let, let me, I, I don't know, but in Ghana, in Chi, they say, Ufunu, 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 Ufunu. I'm not, not so I'm talking specifically. There is no about, way. There is no, 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 no way if so. So what are the specific legacies? Because he talks about <laughs> his men and the current men, so-called. Yes. Of and I've made analysis for you. I've made analysis that in these sectors, it take the performance of the ministers and the ministries in these sectors I've mentioned. Even I've mentioned only four, four. Education, health, energy, and um, power. I've mentioned this. What is he talking about? Which area sector again will he talk? Sports? Is this sports he will go, he's going to talk about? That ministry that you I'll be were. so proud to say that there's uh -huh. no way you can compare my achievement with any of the ministers and Anana Kofado. No way? No way! Specifically. Two key what infrastructures. Cape Coast Stadium. Bukum Boxing Arena. The Bukum Boxing Arena. Yes. Uh, which is what? The, the SNIT funded? <coughs> yes. The SNIT funded yes. Bukum Boxing Arena? Yes. Okay. So. They what, are having what, what GMPC the funded. The GMPC funded recreational grounds they are calling sports facilities. Wasting resources. Ah. And dotting these things around the country where you cannot use ah. for any football development. So you're saying those are wasted resources? Wasted resources. Why? Why? Let me give you analysis. If you're developing football, eh? if you're developing football, you create an infrastructure that will help for the development of the game. You don't create an infrastructure for recreational, facility, for, for recreational purposes. The ones they are building are infrastructure for recreational purposes because you can't play any good football match there. Because you cannot host even 9 against 11. 9 against 9. Let alone host 11 against 11. You understand? So instead of screwing these things around, why don't you put the resources together and say we are putting one good infrastructure at one particular to serve three, four, five communities? Instead of wasting money and throwing them around. And when you go to Ghana Health Service and find out, and I'm telling you, free consultants, I'm telling you, many of the things are 
giving rise to injuries of footballers and ending their football career because the structure, the infrastructure, the what they are putting up, they are not using the right method to put up because they are not using qualified people to do it. Look, I will give you an example. The ones that were constructed years ago, take for example the Kotobabi Swakpa, uh, the Kotobabi Wembley, and take mm -hmm. them as sports stadium, which was constructed during Kufuor's era. So how about the Astro Tefs? That's what I'm talking the, about. I don't want to call them Astro Tefs. There are, no, are no Astro Tefs. The Wembley I, I'm Sports a technical person. funded Astro Tefs. Wembley, racing. that's why I'll give you an example. Wembley, Tema Sports Stadium. Take the two. Compare no, no, the no. two. Their sustainability. The years they were constructed. How much they've been able to contribute. And compare with the one that was put up in Bukum. The one that I put up in even, tank, uh, uh, what do you call the place? Uh, Russia. And you, you've been compared a youth, the youth and sports minister before. Yes, so I'm telling you, and so I've told, I've raised, it, that I've those raised this issue. Been built in I've, read, I've raised this issue in parliament. You raised, I've it raised in this parliament. issue. I've asked the minister a question. You don't build a pitch for football with a concrete foundation. You don't. You don't, because that will cause injury. There's no pitch in the world. Standard, standardized pitch in the world where we have concrete foundation. No. You can't just dig, put concrete, put soil over the concrete, and put a cap on it and say you have built an astro turf. Okay. This is affecting the development of the game, affecting our players. That's what I'm saying. It's only for recreational purposes. You say it's injuring some people? Yes. You many. Seen oh, yes, many. I play football every but for you, I will be playing football by now. But for you dragging me here, I still play football every Saturday morning. And many, I'm an old footballer. We've had reports at the retired footballer's office. We've had reports from the various football clubs and coast clubs across the country. The pitches they are building is. So I've asked the question in parliament. And the minister conceded that they don't have the technical people, but so he will consult with the people who have the technical ability to be able to find out why they are doing what they are doing. This was in relation to the commission of the Tema Astro Tef. So, I would say that even the Bukum Boxing Arena has today made boxing more popular than football. To the extent that today, Ghana hosts international boxing tournaments. People are coming from the rest of the world to come and participate in boxing uh, matches in Accra. The Bukum Boxing Arena has given the Ghana opportunity to host two swimming competitions for West Africa. In fact, they just ran away from the hosting of the All Africa Games because their facilities were not complete. Because even the Bukum Box Arena, which is going to provide for them the swimming facility, they don't have what they call a, a, a warm-up pools. So when it comes to Cape Coast Sports Stadium, do you know how much is serving Ghana today? Recently, when our boxers went to the Olympic Games to win medals, it was the boxing gym we put up at Cape Stadium, which hosted all their training to be able to go and get the medals they got for us. So I don't want to talk about when one on one. Let's take any minister. I mean, me, me, me and between miracles and I, let's sit down now. Let him let's, mention let's the ministry. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Right, you I'm have, ready. You let's have a minute to round. So first of all, you've come minister of finance. First of all, minister of finance. Let's, 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 let's go, minister of finance. Let's do it. Let's do it. Minister of finance to round up. I'm looking at the oh, is miracles. Is that more than us? miracles? Let's is take minister of finance. You between Setekpe, between Setekpe and Kendo Ferata. Ken is far better. Ah, Ken, Ken, when you're all you 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 members of parliament, when okay. you're all okay. members of parliament, okay. Okay. when you're all members of parliament, you want him out. Thank you. You're all members of parliament. All right. Okay. Oh, so are you so, oh, so what, are you what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Dennis, 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 hold on. Dennis. When, when, when your part, when Ghanaians ask the tech person to change, it. change. <laughs> when Ghanaians ask the tech person to change, Mahama said that when they didn't you change it, but your people, you didn't you extend it, you didn't you extend it, 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 didn't you freeze on employment the finance minister was quite clear in presenting the 2023 budget that there is a freeze on employment with exception of 
<laughs> some essential services. Okay? So, if you are employing now, how different is that from in 2015, when I recall as well, that when we went in for the IMF program, when there was that freeze on employment, there was some employment as well in the essential yes. services. The health, health education, and, then, and security and education as well. Can you show me? I, we've only had, they've only said it. Oh, no, no, over 40,000. No, no, wait, wait. Over 40,000 health you, personnel you were recruited that between 2015 and 2016. Where? Specifically, that they, they, I'm giving you the data. Where? That they were, where? Over 40,000 were recruited in 2015. Where? Between 2015 and 2016. You were only saying it where? <laughs> no, I'll give you the figure. That are the people. But the figure they need. You already said you to find the hospitals and it doesn't exist. I can't rely on your figure at the moment. So, hold on. Don't even talk about that. I'm not talking about the numbers. I'm talking about the specific the provision in but the 2016 budget. I was mentioning the MC, the on. figures to you. The specific provision in the 2016 budget for employment into essential show services. Me, show me. As we have seen, I have shown you I'm the specifically one we are doing now. indicating I, a document you can I, verify. I, no, where is it? Which is the 20... You have, I haven't seen it. You, you I have don't, never you don't seen have it. The, but you can speak to what, what you are know, seeing. What I know is that when we came to office, as far as far as 2017, mm -hmm. we had even 2012 health professionals. It's not true. Still at home. It's not true. You see these things. So it's not you true. Ask me and I tell you, it's, it's, it's not true. true. Ah, so have wait. you forgotten that? Can I? Can I? But you ask me that thing that you know you're coming no, to no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I should wait for you. Okay. So the <laughs> finance minister indicated mm. in 2023 mm. in presentation of the budget because mm. you are talking to what you say you know mm. or you can see. Mm. He indicated that there was a freeze on public sector employment. Is it not? Net freeze, yes, in the budget. He said that. Net freeze, yes. Net. Net freeze. <laughs> Was but it then the same thing you are employing now. Yes. In the health sector. Yes. Education. Mm. Because there's some exception for essential services. Is it not? Can I, can I respond now? Hmm? Without interjections? Can I respond? No, no, no. I'm asking. Yeah, can I respond without interjections? So how different is it from what happened can I in 2016? So I, I keep telling you that you are not even comparing. You are, you are not, what is the comparison? In 2015, you have not shown me or the, your viewers any evidence of recruitment in 2015 because when we came to office in 2017, we still had 2012 nurses at home. They came to uh, pickets at the health ministry. We still had... Uh, teachers, they came to pick it at the health ministry. But I am showing you not just even the financial clearance, but even appointment letters of teachers. That has been issued this week. <laughs> Yesterday, there is news reported by your portals of mm -hmm. people passing out from training. I am showing you that in 2023, in spite of our economic challenges. And you are telling me about 2015, so which I know you haven't shown me anything. The recruitment, you are saying at least it, for the nurses, I think that in putting it into specific facts. Mm. And Not just the nurses. Let me even tell the, you. Let me the, even the, blow the, your mind. The let me even blow your mind more. The, Today. Let me even blow mm -hmm. your mind more. Relax. Today. Okay. The, Today. The, the recruitment you are doing is for 2019. Let me blow your mind more. Graduates Let me of blow nurses. your mind more. Let me Correct. blow your mind. Let me blow your no, mind no, no. more. Let's establish that. So the, the 2023 recruitment you are doing. It's for the 2019 nurses. You, you, don't, you, 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 are, you don't allow my, my argument to stay in context. You ask your questions and you, you keep mixing them up. Let me, let me situate the conversation. I am I'm telling asking you that. specific questions. But, but then you jump. You give me I'm an asking answer. Specific you ask me, questions. how does it relate to what you are, we are discussing now? I am telling you that in spite of the economic challenges, we are recruiting in spite of the economic challenges. And you were trying to make a case that in 2015 when we went to IMF, they were recruiting. I'm saying, you haven't shown me. I have shown you mine. But you haven't shown me yours. And I said, let me blow your mind. It is not only essential services recruitment that government is doing. As we speak, this government is recruiting close to about 500 people in the northern sector, 48 districts in the north, plus OT, as community, fa community facilitators under the Gulf of Guinea project by the, by, on the credit facility secured by government. As we speak today, as we speak, this government is recruiting people into what we call the, the Ghana Productive Safety Net projects. In districts, they are working. So it is not as if the recruitment is being done under only nurses or teachers or uh, security services. There are recruitments going on in this country that Ghanaians are benefiting from. If you like, pick a phone. Pick a phone today. Call Busa North. Call Salaga East. Call any of the MPs, including the NDC MPs, and ask them whether in their district in those in the northern sector, young people are not being recruited and being paid 
monies every every month and being being given support to to survive. The the point is that Alfred, no matter how you try to assist Honorable Neil and Tiva Dapo in the NDC uh, in the conversation, as in, you try to guide it. You of course you are guiding. The, I know a moderator. No matter how you try to help, it will not wash. That so, we are in a very difficult situation right now in this country, no doubt. We have a very difficult economic challenges. But I can tell you for a fact that there is no way the NDC, as uh, former President Mahama is putting it, can match up to the MPP. He's talking about astrotefs. And I'm surprised. When we came, there were only two astrotefs in this country. Two. 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 Only two. When we came, there were only two astrotefs in this country. It is, it is evident. <laughs> where, there were where, only where? two astrotefs. Today, you can, call, you can count hundreds of astrotefs across hey. the country. <laughs> yes, yes. That is true. Where, where? Some Hold districts on. even have... Three, four, five. And so you are telling me that what the Madina is the Ashutepse? No, 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 senior, relax. So you are telling me that what is it? Hundreds. Yes, yes. You are telling me that you Abita. I have never seen an Abita that is this bias. So, so, Arabu Nilanti, when you go to Madina, the young boys that this morning, this morning, are using the Madina Ashutepse pitch to train and develop their talents. You are saying that those Ashutepse that we built for them were needless. And that if you were in government, you wouldn't have built it for them. Fair enough. I'll build something better. Someone, I'll build something build? better. You had I eight years. Did you build for them? I built a no, whole stadium. For eight years, did you build I it for I them? I built a whole stadium. Madina, did you build it for them? I won't build this. In Sawa Madweji, this morning, the young boys have astrotech that they are training on. The, oh, why I'm talking, you are looking at something else. You are no, not no, interested no, no, in mine. No, no, no. Because no, you still want to come and assist. No. No problem. You come back. You have the chance. But the point is Let me establish this. That if you are keeping making the fact. Oh, hold on. If you keep. I, I don't I would not contest your so, opinion exactly. about, so hold on, hold on, about what I do. Okay? Because I'm the host of so this program. Proceed. I ask questions. I agree. If no you problem. see that as assisting, that's your own. Oh, but it's good. Though. There's nothing wrong the, with assisting. So no, wait. Because we speak to mm -hmm. the most verifiable facts, mm -hmm. when I ask questions. I make reference to the most verifiable facts that everybody else can see and find out. So if I ask questions about, for instance, recruitment in a particular year, and you say you haven't seen that, mm. and you say I haven't shown to my viewers, mm -hmm. I think it's incumbent on me mm -hmm. to let you also see okay, what I make reference to. The Ministry well, of Health, like since so you say you, you haven't seen, mm. I went to the Ministry of Health website, mm. which is the most verifiable fact you can find, mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. If you go as far back as this is a press release um, by Alex Segbefia, mm -hmm. which we would, if we're able to put it on the screen, we'll, but this is it. Mm -hmm. Alex Segbefia, Minister of Health, revealed that the government of Ghana will no longer bond nurses trained in public health training facilities from 2017. Mm -hmm. From the 2017 and 2018 academic year, New entrant nursing trainees in government-funded health trainees institutions will no longer be required to serve a bond mm -hmm. after completion. Mm -hmm. This, the Ministry of Health has, by a deliberate policy over many years, increased the number of enrollment places in health institutions, training institutions throughout the country, mm -hmm. both private and public institutions. Mm -hmm. He goes on to say that some 4,799 nurses mm -hmm. have been recruited or employed within the year 2015 to 2016. Mm. This is a press release that is available okay, so on the Ministry so the good news of, is that the Ministry the, of the, Health the website. The breakdown is registered midwives 1,268, mm. registered community nurses 56, registered general nurses 507, health assistant clinical 321, and the registered general nurses 2,389. Mm. This is most verifiable fact mm. you can find on the Ministry of Health's own website. This is 2016. Okay, okay so, so the, if I the, ask you the question, the, the you say news, you haven't seen, the good news I just that, went on the website the good news to find that, it for you. The good news is that the, the midwifery and nurses association and the students who came to Pickett in 2017 because they graduated in 2012, are, are listening to you and they are watching you so they would they would they would determine okay yeah. so don't worry so uh, can i proceed now round up Great. oh i, I should run after you take my but time. people hasn't been okay no yes. problem so the the the, the facts of the matter is that for me in spite of all the uh, gymnastics around it the viewers and the people of ghana know 
that the NBC are incompetent. That tag cannot be placed on any other person. <laughs> that if, 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 if we went into challenges between 2013 and 2016, which were not on the scale as we are experiencing today, and yet they could plunge it into such difficult, dark hole economic situation, that we could imagine what would have happened if, if they, were, they, were, they were in power in 2022, 2023. And so um, former President Mahama moving around, trying to excite his, his, his political base, especially because he wants to be the, the presidential candidate. And, and saying all manner of things, for me, is not, is, not, is not something that we should pay so much attention to. Okay. A, lot of the, a lot of the facts, as we have it, do not even support the point he's making. And like I said, we can take okay. it sector by sector. Immediately we beat okay. them to the sector. The only thing he will say is that right. it, is not, uh, it is not good. Like he's saying the assertives are no good. Get fund. He mentioned get fund. No government. No government in four years has put up the sort of get fund infrastructure that we have put up Where? In, our, in our secondary institution. Why? That data has oh. been put out severally. Even Alfred himself has actually secured that data from the get fund administrator. Is here. <laughs> no, no government. No government. Borrowed no, billion. no government. And now bonds. You can't pay the bonds. You, you so borrowed. You, you so moved. So you moved hold on. You moved talk, our debt from 9 billion talk to 1.2 that. billion. That and yet you can't sue the get fund. You can't sue the get fund. You can't sue the You are voting from 1.2 billion. Yes, and we can show you 600 billion. We can show you 2,500 Okay. We will be back shortly after this quick break. Lawyer Martin Pebble, you will have your take and then we will talk about the economy. Stay with me. We'll be back shortly. Abrantia, you mean who from Sobia or who? I see. I'm <laughs> 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 Hello? Kafam? Who must sort it point up Ah, digital Zakios, Michelle, Kofaka from TV Cassian Brem. Eh, Ratchet, Mabunya. Kafam, I sort it is the problem. And you're up to 65% off. What is that? Reliable bookmaker with high odds. Wide selection on events. And bonuses for every taste. One X bet, easy use, easy win. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly, not for persons below 18 years. So who will it be? Who will be going to Dubai with me? Me. Babe, think about all the fun we'll have if you pick me. I am your father, your school fees payer. You must obey. But Chaliki, you know I say be bros before all those. Who would you choose? Your favorite milk is taking you and a special someone to Dubai in the ideal Sochi. Sochi!
Enter to buy promo. Just peel text and you could win this and other exciting prizes. This address is FDA approved. Nestle, good food, good life. It's been weeks of exciting and educative performances from our talented kids contestants. And guess what? Raman, you look just like my son. Because of that, you are staying. It's going to be more thrilling. This week on the Kids Arena, we throw a spotlight on our amazing, talented kids contestants and how their journey has been so far as they prepare for the grand finale. We also get to see the hard work that goes on behind the scenes with the contestants and their coaches. Don't miss Kids Arena this Saturday at 10 a.m. See you! Kids Arena show Saturdays at 10 a.m. on TV3. Don't miss it. It's about to get more sporty with a touch of super entertainment with your favorite stars. Sometimes we play that with and get a chance to the football. Who should I take? Funny Cruz? Cruz? Well, why? While keeping you up to date with every trending issue in your world of sports on Wama Plus. But in comes Thomas Tukul and everything changes. And when he said he wanted to be better than me, I, I was happy. Let's keep it more sporty and super entertaining. Warm Up Plus now shows on Saturdays at 11 a.m. on TV3. Brought to you by Betway. Allow me to end any discussion. Welcome back. This is Key Point. Promo Promo Estate Masters Limited has lands located within the Ningo Pram Pram District, 10 minutes drive from the Central University and Achopoli, close to the newly proposed airport, 15 minutes drive from the Saglemi Affordable Housing Project. You can contact them on 059-388-4698, 059 for your spot. And a number of you are sending messages about the press release I read earlier. It's on the Ministry of Health website. In fact, and as I keep saying, that we would only give you the most verifiable facts that you, our mm -hmm. viewers and our listeners on 3FM, can find for yourselves and then also verify whether what we do say or make reference to on this program is too true otherwise. <laughs> there is also another one i found on the ministry of education's website because i made reference to what happened in 2016 Lea Martin, i bring you in at this point mm -hmm. in the end whatever verdict that has to be made is in the mm -hmm. eyes of the ghanaian people is mm -hmm. it not yes, yes. what do too you much. see and experience mm -hmm. yes that's <laughs> look, you see, when you do this, look, we will leave it for you. But you think the viewers can see that you are just, you see, as in tear. The moment you want to go on and on and on, it tells you that no, your case is not good. Awesome. We feel it in our packets. We feel it. Uh, uh, let's say, uh, Dennis, let's start. Did you say the uh, American economy is in it? Turmoil. Yeah, 40 year old inflation. Ah, That's fact. But please, is that the only thing we use to measure economics there? Yeah, the economy is one. fundamentally sound. Listen to Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Federal Trent, Reserve. I'll set you on questions. Eh? Listen to Jerome Powell. He says the economy is fundamentally sound. Then you listen to Treasury Secretary J J uh, Janet Yellen. Look, listen. Even the uh, vice president, when she came to Ghana, admitted to the challenges of okay. the economy. Okay, uh, listen. No. No, Federal Reserve it. Chair Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Janet L. Yellen both say the financial system is fundamentally sound. Okay? The then on and on and on. You know how much jobs they are creating? Hundreds of thousands. Even when Biden came in, he's created more jobs than even Trump before COVID. The U.S. economy is far stronger. What are you? What, what do you? Say, what do you yeah, mean by terminal? You if you are talking about maybe the two banking, uh, two banks that collapse, it happens. It happens. <laughs> two banks collapse, and you think that is an economic turmoil. If like check the depression in the 1890s, when uh, this guy, uh, listen, Grover Cleveland was president, 1890s, you saw 400 banks collapse in the U.S. That's 1890s. Then later, William McKinley became president. That's it. 
And today, just two banks collapse. Maybe that's why you've misconstrued. Please, the U.S. economy is fundamentally sound. They are not even. The they are not. In Ghana. They are okay. not. The American they are not in turmoil. In this is Jerome the Powell. Okay. Okay. What did she say? What did she say? What are her words? Ghanaians listen to. What did she say? No, repeat, repeat, Leslie. This is the chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank and Treasury. Say what did? No, repeat again. You said they are in turmoil. Is that what? Uh, 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 Harry said, Kamala Harry, she said US is in turmoil. It's false. Re get it offline. It's false. She the could US not have the said US. the economy is in say turmoil. The economy is in uh -huh. He said the economy, the American economy is going through difficulties. <laughs> just like the Ghana. That's what she said. Oh, no, that one usually is just to plug it. But look, oh, look, look at what he said. It's just like the, the economy is IMF boss. The vice president said that the economy went through the challenges. And you are saying, now, when you say went through, yes, it's to empathize with you. You think, actually, you've come here, you think you can Hold on, hold on. Ah, lawyer. Yes. Please, please. Ah, okay. Yeah, so look at their inflation. Look at their thing. Yes, you may say it's 40 year high, but still, you are looking at 10% maximum. Last week, I read the statistic. You see, uh, this is sometimes 6.7, 7.4. You see all the figures. Because time is right, if I want to read, we'll end up. So please don't mislead the public. They don't the compare. Public watch the don't, Dennis, don't, Dennis. Don't, don't compare the, the Ghana economy, economy to Dennis. the Dennis. Dennis. Don't compare the Ghana well, economy to the Dennis. US economy. Dennis. Why not? <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. So let me come to the next one. Look, what we, are, what we have here, and which we have no shame for, is that Nanado said you could change the structure of this economy in 18 months. And by the time COVID hit, he had 40, and he couldn't do jack. That is why you should be thinking about. That is why you should be remorseful about. That is why you should apologize about. That is why you should cry for. That today we can't buy food, that we can't pay rent, that we can't buy medication. Look at the bonds. You see, yes, even uh, three days ago, we had to petition the president. That you should step in because for that I say, even there's no money to pay us for bonds, money that we lend to government because of your reckless borrowing. Each time, the beginning of the year, you go and borrow from the international capital market, come and show up the CD. And when from October 2021, they started shutting us down, and then January 2022, complete shutdown. You saw what happened to the CD. What CD did you create? You didn't create any resilience. You saw the African Development Bank president, a uh, former president, Donald uh, Kaboreka. He said, Ghana. We're ticking all the wrong boxes. All the wrong bo boxes. We didn't even create any resilience. Such sham economics. We have to know scratch. You're not up to scratch. You don't know jack about economics. You thought it was just sloganeering. You see where your slogans have led you today? You see where your slogans have led you today? You, 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 you indicate that your what? Slogans. Some uh, five matured coupons have not yeah. been paid? Yes. 20th February, safe match. 20th March. 27th okay. March, 30th March. You can't pay, and you're here making noise. You're here making noise. Just reckless borrowing. You borrow, borrow, only to make the Ekufado family rich through Data Bank. Through Data Bank. That's all that. That's Ekufado's legacy. So right now, as we said, Ekufado's number one legacy when he's leaving office is that he came to make his family rich through Data Bank. That's a scorecard. Because so, now, people are dying. Have you seen Mr. Kojo Nyasepe, the one-man picketer? Yes, he's going on one man picketing. Yeah, he's going to pick it alone. Of course, people will join him, but he's leading by himself because of your reckless uh, borrowing. So, question which is. Which has now made your families very rich. Oligarch. So, you've created a few oligarchs. Is, and then the majority, millions of us, in abject poverty. Is John Mahama the alternative? Well, that one, you know, hey, me, I supported a Kufuadu and got my fingers bent. So, I beg you, we'll think through it. We'll be careful. He should come. Let's debate. But one thing is very clear. He's far better than Ekufuado. I think so far we agree. He didn't, he's far better he, than Ekufuado. Yes, he didn't intentionally through reckless specific borrowing. specific areas. Yes, specific. About. We are talking about the economy. Because they'll ask you, is the economy stupid? Because we feel it every day. We buy food. Okay, you see how the prices of food have gone and everything. As far as I can remember, Dumso wasn't intentionally created. But our current economic crisis was intentionally created because of binge borrowing, of reactors, uh, this thing, greed, excessive greed here and the president, because each time they borrowed, data bank will make money. So the president in Ofuriata, their family was making money. So that was the incentive. So on that score, yes. you're oh, saying? Yes, the economy alone. Mama is streets ahead of uh, this thing, uh, uh, President Ekufuado. Straight. Straight. And Baumia didn't make things better. You see, he was also there, sloganeering. He came. Jack, he so, couldn't do anything. He couldn't do anything. So he's the alternative. No, uh, uh, Bamia. You mean? No, 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 no. 
is it Baumia or John Mahama? Which, which your Between team? the two, hmm, for now, look, let's say, to be very clear with you, Mahama is better than Baumia. Very, very honest. There is no straight this. Mahama is better. Everybody is watching you surprised about yeah. this position. Everybody because in this country knows Baumia is part of the Kufuadu administration. Okay. 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 He's not been strong okay. enough. Okay. 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 He's not been strong okay. enough to okay. even chastise the Kufuadu. Who is surprised? Who is surprised? Everybody okay. knows. Uh, you are not okay. prepared for one of the people that are part of it. I've just seen something. I'm surprised. I've heard that the Minister of Health, they are doing shift system with their elevator. <laughs> the elevators works on days so the, the, and then the, the work was, on other the, days. The, the